So today we're going to be taking a look at how you can easily remove a background on an image if you download an image off the internet or something and you just want to crop the background or something like that. So I'm going to show you how you can do such a thing today. Very simple, how you can use this tool effectively and what type of images it really works best on. So first of all, show you how to use it. We've got this icon here that we're going to use. Basically we've found a PNG online. And it hasn't come as a PNG, it comes with this background like you'll have found many times before. So to simply remove that, all we're going to do is scroll down on this sidebar. You'll have the eraser tool and what we're going to do is we're going to just click on that, just hold that down on the little corner. And it's going to click magic eraser. Now we're going to click on the image. So we're going to click on the image and when you click on the image, it's going to bring up this. It's going to say this smart object will be rasterized before proceeding. The edit contents will no longer be available. Rasterize the smart object. You're just going to click OK to this. Once we've done that, you're going to see that the icon for the magic eraser is right there. And all we're going to simply do is just click on the background bit that we don't want anymore. And it's as simple as that. We can also do it with other parts of the image. So let's say we want to get rid of this white with this music icon. We can just simply click that and we can also click the background. And now we just have this image. It's just literally like this gradient color block. Now it works great on images like this, but one of the types of images it doesn't really work well on is photos. It's really got to be a contrast between the background and the like object around it that you're wanting to like use. So we'll bring up this image here. I took up this really nice Ferrari. The problem with this image is, as you can see where I'm moving the cursor, the roof of the car, is black. Now it doesn't help that it's on a black background so if the software is going to find this hard to pull apart. So let's say we click up here. You're going to see you're going to see that it takes part of the car and that's because of the reflection on the screen and obviously the roof. Now these are the sorts of images that this tool doesn't really work well on and we'll do a, another tutorial showing you how you can crop. This tool is mainly for more simpler images where there's a bigger contrast so if we click maybe if we just go back and we click the yellow as you can see it's kind of lucky it kind of works a bit better if you're trying to get rid of the yellow on the car but that's basically how to use the magic eraser tool and its best use case scenario thanks for watching please like and subscribe